became my robot because I didn't know what to name it. <laughs> um, I wanted to make a dog sled team for my final project. I chose it because it looked like a simple build and it has the capability to go pretty fast. Um, it's supposed to have uh, two dogs and a sled. The We didn't have the right parts for the dog and the arms they were supposed to kind of just go kind of go like this and throw itself forward and um, I finished the sled, started working on the dogs and that's when I realized that we didn't have the parts, I didn't want to disassemble it and uh, so I just kept it and took out the parts of the dog that I had already done. Um, the way it was built, there was like two small gears right here that I thought I could use as wheels but they didn't grip the ground very well. And um, so, um, Connor, where is he? Yeah. There were two parts right here. They, these, the taller parts weren't sticking up. They were kind of down, and this part right here was sticking up. So he helped me switch that so we could fit on the bigger gears, and it worked pretty well. The next part was to figure out programming. Um, I wanted it to move forward, stop in front of a wall, and then move back. Um, the problem was that you needed um, a repeat on this right here. So that way it would continuously go. But if I kept repeating this, it would never get to the sensor, so it would just run into the wall. So I solved it by putting the repeat on the whole thing, and it worked. I could improve this by um, when it kind of go, it goes backwards, it bounces. Thank <laughs> you.